Hey guys, welcome to Franklin Woodworks. In the last video, I gave my wholehearted endorsement of fluid film as a great treatment for your cast iron. I still stand by that 100%. So far so good with the Colonite double coat car wax too. Three weeks after treatment and it's still really slick and I've done a ton of cutting on my table saw. I'm really close to giving that product my endorsement too. The section of my table saw that I polished is still rust free after three weeks. No protection and no rust. I don't understand it, but that's the way it is. However, there is a downside to the polished surface. It scratches easily, and since there's no protection on it, whatever drips onto the surface probably will not come off completely, even if you get to it pretty soon. Scratches will give rust a place to grab hold, and since glue is water based, I'm not real excited about the glue drips either. So it looks like I'm going to be treating the polish portion of my table saw anyway. Up until now, my criteria for testing a product or a method of rust protection has been based solely on my interest. If I thought it was unusual or if it intrigued me, I'd give it a shot. I haven't been interested in testing the mainstream products that many of you have recommended, but that changed recently. I was contacted by Bowshield and was asked to give their product a try. My criteria for testing the product was that it would be tested against other products and I would give my honest assessment with no filtering of the content. Bowshield eagerly agreed, so they sent me a trial pack which included Bowshield T9, Blade and Bit, a cleaner for blades and router bits, and Rust Free, a rust and stain remover. Since I've been using fluid film for a while and I know that it's good, I decided to clean off all the fluid film with xylene and give the Bowshield T9 a try. To give it the best chance of success, I went against my nature and read the directions. You know, most failures in applying finish to our woodworking projects is because we don't read the directions on the can. I've learned that the hard way, so now I always read the can. I may not follow the directions, but at least I know what they are. Anyway, back to the T9. The directions are pretty simple. For a light coat, spray on, wipe off the excess, and allow to dry. And that may mean drying overnight. And that's what I did. What I found in the morning was an extremely slick surface. The T9 has no silicone or Teflon in it. It's a wax-based product, so once it's dry, there should be no interference with the finishing. So far so good with the T9, but I needed to look at the other products. Now remember I'm cheap, so what I usually use to clean my blades is either Mineral Spirits or Simple Green. And if you're not cleaning your blades, you're really missing out. Jay Bates once told me that he never sharpens blades, he just keeps them clean. The pitch that gathers on the outside of the teeth is usually what causes the burning and the bogging down when you're making a cut, and I'm a firm believer in that. So it's time for a test. I'm putting Mineral Spirits and Simple Green against the Bow Shield Blade and Bit Cleaner. So I'll divide this Diablo blade into three sections and I'll start with the Mineral Spirits. Soaking the teeth with Mineral Spirits, I'll let it soak for about a minute, then try to wipe off the pitch with a paper towel. That didn't work. So next I'll try a soft bristle brush. That didn't work either. So next is a brass brush. The pitch came off, but not very well. It still left a lot of pitch on the blade. Next is the simple green. Let me preface this by saying that usually what I'll do is let the entire blade soak overnight in simple green, and the pitch comes off easily. The paint comes off easily too, but I wanted to keep the test consistent, so after applying the simple green, I gave it a minute. The paper towel wipes off a little of the pitch, but it still needs some work. The soft bristle brush works a little better, but ultimately the brass brush is needed to get the job done. Now for the bow shield. I spray a little bit on the teeth, let it sit for one minute, and wipe with a paper towel. Now about 98% of the pitch comes off easily. Because the directions say to spray, then wait 30 to 60 seconds, I didn't wait any longer because I was unsure if the solution would damage the carbide teeth. But the brass brush took no elbow grease whatsoever to get the stubborn bits of pitch to let go. The clear winner here is the bow shield. But what about the rust and stain remover? You know, at the present, I have no rust on my tools to get rid of, 
and I'm not willing to let them rust just to test the product. But I do have this nasty glue drip on the polished wing of my table saw. Nothing I've tried will get rid of the stain. So, following the directions, I sprayed a little rust free on the stain and wiped off with a paper towel. Now, it was an improvement, but the stain was still pretty significant. So I tried it again, and I let it sit for about 15 seconds, and I wiped it again with a paper towel. Although the stain was still there, there was a significant improvement. Now, I spent more time in this video on the Bow Shield products than I intended to, but sometimes things work out that way. I'm not ready to give an endorsement of the T9 yet, but it does look promising. However, I will give a ringing endorsement of the blade and bit cleaner today. It worked great, and I'll be adding this product to my shop. The Simple Green works if you let it soak overnight, but that takes a blade out of commission for a while. With the blade and bit cleaner, I can take off the blade, clean it, and put it back on in about two minutes. That's a time saver that's worth a little bit of money in my shop, even for a cheapskate like me. So, I'll keep experimenting, and I'll give you an update on the Bow Shield T9 in the next video. I hope this gives you some ideas for your shop, and will help you develop your own methods for keeping rust away from your tools. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And there you go.